what's happening with OpenAI and GPT-4, I think it, it's it's really cool. Like, I don't know if you saw the, um, in the paper they put out, the technical report, where it can examine and understand a meme image. Like, this is... It, like, explain the oh. meme. It's Explain why it's funny? Yeah, explain why oh, the meme okay. is funny. It's kind of crazy, <laughs> like... Yeah. Well, it opens the door to having future robots that can tell jokes, <laughs> which is great. <laughs> mm. There was... Um, there was... <laughs> this. It got banned from <laughs> Twitch because it... Yeah, you know, it got a little bit, uh, a little bit spicy with its jokes. But there was this AI, um, AI generated Seinfeld that was on Twitch a little while back. Uh, I, th I want to say it, I want to say it told a, a Jewish joke. Uh, I want to say, I think that's what it was. And it got it banned. It might have been another joke, um, but it was formulating jokes. Like they weren't always great jokes, but yeah. it understood what a joke was. And I know there are people out there who are saying that, you know, chat GPT, Bard, all of this stuff is, is sentient. I don't, no, I don't know, but we're certainly seeing some interesting emergent behavior that isn't directly programmed into the system. Like we're not, you don't make this, like GPT-4 is not made to tell jokes, but it is capable of telling them. It, has enough information where it is I don't want to I don't know if understanding is the correct term but it's it's certainly showing some behavior that looks intelligent yeah but I think that that's the that's the thing it looks mm -hmm. like it's intelligent but the the program itself has literally zero idea of what it's doing even even their own developers also don't know like they openly admit it I think it was a, a journalist that interacted with uh, with a Bing's chatbot for mm. a long while, and it ended up telling him that he that the bot loved him and that he wanted him to leave his wife and stuff like that, like mm. really weird stuff. And the guy got creeped out. And the engineer said, "We don't know why it said that. Mm. We cannot pinpoint a specific behavior in the model or a specific content it might have read. What we know is that it has no idea what it's saying. Mm -hmm. It's just." In that context, you you maybe started talking about personal things with it, and so it it has some information about personal conversations. It might have deduced some context about what you were feeling or what you were expressing, and it answered what it thought would be a good answer. Mm -hmm. But but it doesn't feel this way. It has no feelings. It's it's just text. So it's not sentient. Very clearly, it's not. But it's still very impressive. The mm -hmm. fact that it's managing to 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 edge out of its basic programming yeah there was i think it was a year or so back i don't know if you remember this but there was a google engineer who was saying that google's ai system was already sentient at that point um i think the problem with the ha that we have now especially with the text-based systems is we are long past the turing test we are long past these ai systems being able to convince you that you are talking to a person like if you don't know like Say you have this um, text-based, uh, what do you call it, like, help system. It's not like the old ones where it's like, okay, it will only respond to very specific cues. If yeah, you're having you a, three options yeah, to pick yeah. from. If you're having a conversation with, like, with, chat, with GPT-4, with any of these systems, if you don't know you're talking to an AI, it can convince you you are talking to a person. Does that mean it's sentient? I don't know. What it does mean is it's really good at speaking and it's really good at understand... Uh, it's really good at formulating sentences in a way that makes sense in yeah. human language. I don't know what it's like in languages other than English, so I can't really comment on those. Yeah, but at I, least I think in they're England. currently uh, not really that able to, mm. to do anything apart from English. Well, I know that... I, I want to say GPT-4 supports French and a couple of other languages, but it's, it's, you know, English is the, the, this, the two major languages are English and Chinese, basically. These yeah. are the, these are where you have the most text to work from. And at least in English, it's doing a really good job. Yeah. And in English, you only have one corpus because in Chinese, you're going to have 
tons of variants and yeah, dialects yeah. and regional and, and, and cantonic dialects and you have mandarin and it's probably way easier and also probably like the developers are english native speakers so obviously they're going to work on their own mm. stuff uh, but it's also probably a relatively easy language to make sentences in because mm. It doesn't really have like gendered adjectives or names. That's, it doesn't yeah. like, like constructing sentences like like the grammar is relatively simple compared to la Latin languages or stuff yeah. like that. Uh, it's pronouncing it is definitely harder mm -hmm. <laughs> because it's not pronounced like it's written. Uh, but but it's I don't think it's that tough compared to other languages. And I mean they're, they're probably going to struggle with mm -hmm. with uh, stuff like Chinese, Japanese, and. and ideogram based languages maybe it's going to be harder to to formulate something that when you read it feels natural but i don't know for the record neither of us are linguists and neither of us are like ai engineers we are just talking out of our asses so if there's something here that we're completely wrong about um, <laughs> yeah. people read correct us on this but I, mean, I speak french english and italian and that's about it so mm -hmm. no idea what i'm talking about but but i i'm just assuming basically mm -hmm. I, I barely speak English, and I know a tiny bit of Japanese, and that's it. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I, I speak Australian. This is, this is as far as we get. Yeah. 